We recently installed a cistern. It's a hybrid system, actually. It's a cistern dry well. It was behind a building that was 80 years old, and water collects behind the building. It's like a bowl. The video got lost, uh, unfortunately. Uh, we had some video, and I was going to present to you a video, but I have some still photos, and I'd like to explain to you what we did and how it worked. So we we make our cisterns, and in this uh, type of install, this was a hybrid system. This was um, a cistern uh, dry well hybrid. Instead of a rain barrel, something that's going to be unsightly or you just don't have room for, you can put these under the ground, and you can build them to hold you know, thousands of gallons opposed to just a, you know, 50 gallon uh, barrel. So we went ahead and took the cistern that we made in our shop and we dug a really deep hole behind this, behind this building. And we lined it with filter fabric because we don't want the, um, we're going to put a bunch of drainage stone around this cistern uh, it's going to collect a lot of s subsurface water as well as surface water. So this system was designed to do both. Once we finished, they could pour concrete parking lot behind here and they'd be fine. We have a storm drain, cast iron, the grate is what we refer to like a spider web, a honeycomb. Um, these work really well, and I want it to be safe. So I wanted to go with something really heavy, something that a child couldn't you know, lift up. Now, when this overflows, there is a, a pump system, and I'll get to that in a moment. We filled the area around the reservoir with four to eight inch cobble. This is going to also increase the capacity. Again, this is a hybrid. This is a cistern dry well hybrid. And then we have our drainage stone that you see in all our other videos. When it hits overflow, there's two pumps. The overflow pump, because it's like a bowl behind this building, actually lifts the water and you can see the pipe that we installed at the top of the building. And it takes that water to a downspout. Because it's like a bowl in the back, there's no other way to get the water out. Once we get it to the front, there's not a lot of elevation. There was nowhere to really pump the water to. But there's a slight grade away from the front of the building, and it ends up running down the shoulder of a road into a storm system. There's a pump that will go all the way to the bottom of this cistern. That way the water can be used. It could be used to water the lawn. It could be used to wash a car. This isn't set up for drinking water. Notice the shape of the cistern. We put a false floor midway up. So where you see the stack, there's a pump that goes to the bottom so that you can use the water in the cistern. And then there's a second pump on a false floor. So once you fill the cistern reservoir and all that large cobble, that's part of it as well. It's going to hold thousands of gallons of water. 
Now, during the rain event, we want to make sure that we don't flood. And originally, water was finding its way into the back of this building. The pump that we have will lift the water once the float We have a pump in the bottom here, and that's for the water, for the lawn, washing cars, things like that. Then we have a pump sitting up here on a false floor. That is so as this continues to fill, that water is then pumped to the front of this building. I wish I could have preserved the video. Unfortunately, we lost the video, but hopefully this helps. If you're looking for a cistern, an underground reservoir, for rainwater and you're looking for installers in southeastern Michigan, give us a call 303-458-1000.